Hey everybody, welcome to Miss with PJ. Today's tape, June 23rd, 2016. Our discussion today is going to be on desire. 1 Kings 14.8 I ripped the kingdom away from the family of David and gave it to you. But you have not obeyed my commandments as my servant David did. His heart's desire was always to obey and to do whatever I wanted him to. In Psalms 24, may he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill your plan. Isaiah 26, 8, O Lord, we love to do your will. A heart's desire is to glorify your name. Jeremiah 32, 40, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them, promising never again to desert them but only to do them good I will put a desire into their hearts to worship me and they will never leave me Acts 19 4 then Paul pointed out to them that John's baptism was to demonstrate a desire to turn from sin to God and those receiving his baptism must then go on to believe in Jesus the one John said would come later. What I'm getting here is when the Israelites sinned by worshiping idols, they were told to repent as King David did. They ended up in captivity 70 years before they repented. God will grant our desires when we are right with Him and glorify His name. God made a covenant with Israel after they stopped worshiping, worshiping their idols. Baptism is the next step of God's desire when accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. It is an active profession of faith. It also is a way of turning away from sin. Now you'll find out I'm using a different computer with a different camera today. So things might be a little bit different. I want to thank you and have a blessed day.